On this episode, I want to delve in just a little more on the topic of keyboards and Raspberry Pis. Fresh Raspberry Pi. Welcome to the show, guys. All right. We're going to be talking about these two devices right here in this episode. These are both uh, mini keyboards. One is wireless, one is Bluetooth, and we're using these to connect to our Raspberry Pi. These are options that we have instead of using the traditional keyboard and mouse, uh, whether that keyboard and mouse is a wireless keyboard and mouse or it is a uh, keyboard setup like this one here that has a USB cord. Uh, there are numerous options when it comes to uh, different accessories that you can use and interface with the Raspberry Pi. And there are maybe other ways that you can do this that you didn't know about or haven't used yourself while I get it some of this stuff it, it may seem like common sense but when you delve into it a little deeper some of it's not there's some questions that that arise as to what would be better for you and your particular situation so let's uh let's uh, talk about this all right both of these that we have here these are um uh these both uh have rechargeable batteries so they they both work the same in that respect you can uh, uh, use the same cable on either one and you just recharge them before you use them um, this one like I said this one is about $12 so <clears throat> the uh, main feature in this that I think is important to show you guys is that it has a USB dongle and uh, it comes inside of the case, which I do like that, that it basically stores it inside of itself. It's very nice, so you know that you won't um, lose it. So if you wanted to hook this up to your Raspberry Pi, you uh, would just pull out the dongle, and whatever Raspberry Pi you're using, if, if it has a USB port on it, then pretty simple. You're just going to put it into... Plug it into the USB port just like that. You can do um, the you can use the USB uh, 2.0 or you can use the USB 3.0 and it's going to work. Okay, and that's that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward. So if I take this and I actually plug this into my Raspberry Pi over here, I have a YouTube series that I'm working on right now. It's a Raspberry Pi 4 series. Everything that we're doing is with the Raspberry Pi 4, and for that series, I actually flashed an SD card that I'm only using for those videos, and I'm still in the middle of working on the series and setting some of it up. So that's actually what I have up and running right now. This is pretty much a, a fresh install of a desktop um, operating system on the Raspberry Pi. If uh, you're familiar with this and you recognize this default home screen here. So I have not done this before. This is basically happening right now as we make the video. So I plugged a dongle into my Raspberry Pi and I'm going to turn on the keyboard. This is great for uh, nighttime if you wanted to be able to see your keys. Not so great if you wanted to be discreet. Okay, but um, it's plugged in. We got it on here and pretty straightforward. There is a mouse pad and I can move uh, the cursor around the, the screen there. And if um, we wanted to use this and open up a uh, terminal, okay, I just, uh, I just did that, went up there, clicked on the, um, the icon and uh, works pretty well, okay. No issue. So I opened up a terminal window and then I can come down to the command line if I want and um, let's type something. Okay. I'm going to type in a command. The command is who am I? I typed it in. I press return 
and it returned the answer. Who am I? I am pi. Okay? Pretty straightforward. Alright? Now, let's, uh, let's talk about the other one. Now, I'm going to shut that off. And, you know what? I'll just leave that in there for now. I'll get that after the video. Alright. Now, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so the next one that we have is this one right here, okay? This one's a little different. You can see that it clearly looks, looks a little different than the other one, all right? Got some information over here on this one. Uh, this is made by a company called Fossman. So this is a Fossman Mini Bluetooth keyboard, uh, wireless, lightweight, touchpad. Um, it costs about $25, so it's, it's uh, twice as much as the other one. And the main thing that sets this one apart from the first one that I showed you, at least for, um, for us, for, uh, for this show, for what we are using it for, for Raspberry Pis, the main difference is that unlike the, the first one, this one does not have a USB dongle, okay? So we showed you this one, we pulled a USB dongle out of the back and we plugged it in. Straightforward, common sense, easy, yes, I know. This one, a little different. There is no USB dongle. It's rechargeable like the other one, it uses a cord, the same as the other one would use, but uh, it does not have a dongle. So if you wanted to connect this to your Raspberry Pi, then this is what you would do, okay? Going back up here to, um, to the screen, there is, up in the upper right hand corner, you can actually see there is a uh, icon that is for the Bluetooth. If I click on that, it pulls up a little uh, menu, okay? And it gives us a few options. It says, turn off Bluetooth, so that tells me that the Bluetooth must um, already be on by default, uh, make discoverable, add device, and remove device, okay? Well, I have not done this, so we are, we're doing this right now. So I'm going to first pull out my wireless keyboard, and on the keyboard, sorry, I have it upside down. I do that a lot with this. Uh, I, I, I get confused as to which way it goes. Uh, the orange throws me off. Um, on here, there is a button turn the um, keyboard on okay and then there's a button right here uh, right here okay if you see that button right there it has the Bluetooth symbol on it I'm gonna press this button and it's gonna make this device discoverable okay so I press that you see that it's blinking back up here on my screen I'm gonna go to the option that says add device and it's um, searching for Bluetooth devices. If I look through the list, at the bottom of the list here, I see that there is an option that says Bluetooth keyboard. And I recognize that as being the uh, option that must be for the keyboard that I have in my hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that, okay? And then I'm going to click on the pair button. I click on that, pairing request sent, pairing uh, request is successful, it says creating connection, and it says connected successfully, okay? And that's, uh, that's pretty much it. So once I see um, the box pop up that says connection successful, I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and um, I'm going to stop using... Uh, this mouse, which is what I was using to set it up, and now let's see if this actually works, okay? I am moving my thumb around the pad here, and yeah, I can see the cursor moving around on the screen, so it definitely works. All right, um, let me go up here and open up a terminal screen. Um, it has these two little buttons right here. It's kind of like what you would use on a mouse. So if I press this one, you see it opens up that terminal window, okay? And then I'm going to 
move the cursor down to the terminal window to the command line, press it again to make sure that I'm on the command line, and then I'm going to type in the command. Who am I? And press the enter button, and it gives me my response. Who am I? I am Pi. Okay? Um, for sake of uh, just showing you guys how this would work, let's say that you, um, for whatever reason, you no longer want to uh, use this and you don't you don't want it paired okay you basically would just come back up to that same icon and uh, click on that there is uh, we can see it looks a little different now because um, we actually have something paired so at the bottom of the sub menu here we see it says Bluetooth keyboard um, I'm gonna go here and click on uh, remove device and press that a screen pops up on the screen it says um, paired bluetooth devices i see there's only one thing in there and that is the same bluetooth keyboard so i basically am just going to click on uh, that and then i'm going to come down and click on remove and uh, that's it very straightforward. I um, have now basically unpaired this with my Raspberry Pi and re removed it from the um, Bluetooth menu there. Okay, and uh, well, I think that's I think that's probably probably it. Um, if you guys have any questions about uh, this this um, topic or about the things that I've shown you. Feel free to ask me a question, post it in the um, comments, and uh, and we can um, we can talk about it. So, and I think one last thing that I'll add on this is just that on our show we are referring to these as Raspberry Pi accessories, but by no means are we suggesting that these are limited to uh, solely using them for Raspberry Pis. These things can be used for many things. Okay, you can use these for your phone, your tablet, your computer, your TV, all types of things. But you know what we do on this show, on this channel, we are talking about accessories in reference to Raspberry Pis, okay? Um, so, thank you guys for watching. Tune in to the next one. Come get yourself another slice of this Raspberry Pi.